Today, I want to talk to you about something that I just had a huge breakthrough the other day. You know, we always hear this idea about doing what you love and the money will come. And I had a, had a really, really great insight into this. And I really want to share it with you today because I think it's really going to make a difference for you if you believe what I'm about to share with you. Welcome back. Robert Imbriali here, and I want to talk to you today about this concept of doing what you love. And, you know, they always talk about doing what you love, doing what you love, doing what you love, and the money's going to come. Do what you love, and the money's going to come. We've heard that a million times. But the reality is, here's an interesting way of looking at it, because I've seen a lot of people do things just for the money. And, they, you know, the, the pattern is fairly predictable when people do that. They start making the money, they start making the money, making the money, they get really, really wealthy, or make, maybe they make $10,000 one day, or maybe they make 50 thousand dollars in a month but then you look at them six months down the road and what you see is oftentimes they're back into doing more stuff for the money and one of the things you want to get rid of is get rid of those kind of patterns in our lives because they age us they they wear us out that kind of thing and one of the things you really need to think about is okay if i'm doing it just for the money when the money comes, what's behind this pattern, right? Make the money, make the money, and then make nothing. What's behind that? Why doesn't it continue to go like this? The reason is because once the money comes and you feel satisfied inside, guess what you stop doing? You stop doing the things you were doing just for the money because you're not enjoying them. So there's a lot of value in this idea, this concept of really doing things uh, that you really enjoy. Yeah, the money's going to be there. But, you know, if you look at Mark Zuckerberg, if you look at Steve Jobs, if you look at Bill Gates, if you look at any of the people who make what we consider in our society a lot, a lot of money, one of the things you're going to find is they didn't do it with the idea of making money in hand. Do you think, for instance, Mark Zuckerberg said, I'm going to create hot or not uh, because I'm going to make a lot of money? No, he didn't even charge for it when he first built it. He did it as a social experiment, right? He wanted to meet more people. He wanted to interact with more people. So he did it for a reason that was other than money, that was passion, that was something that was coming from him that he really wanted to do. And it works the same in our businesses. And the more time we spend doing something just for the money, the harder it's going to become for us because we're going to live this pattern. We're going to make the money. Yeah, we're going to make the money. Sure, we're doing it for the money. We'll make some money, no question. Uh, then the other side, we're going to stop because we don't want to do that anymore. Or we'll find excuses or we'll procrastinate or uh, we just will come up with ideas that we don't, we don't have another idea. We're not, you know, we can't figure out what to do next. And, you know, obviously then the money gets spent, gets spent and down goes the bank balance as opposed to to doing something that you really enjoy, something that you love, and you know the money comes and it keeps coming and it keeps coming and you're on a better trajectory rather than the typical roller coaster that most entrepreneurs live. So that's my e-coaching session for you for today. Hope this was valuable. If you like it, uh, please follow me on Twitter and uh, we'll look forward to doing this again real soon. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great day.